Welcome to week 12's uh, to-do list. Next week we're going to have a quiz and so practice your phonograms. Uh, start working on your microteach project. That would be like start doing your lesson plan and bring questions to class next week. In your book, Making Sense of Phonics, read chapter 12 on automaticity and take notes on page 123 in your notebook. And then open up the PowerPoint on fluency number five there. When you open it up, it should look like this. Um, you're going to be working on the first four objectives. What is fluency? Why is it necessary for comprehension? Um, what are the skills that can be done to fluent, should be done to flu, a fluent kind of pace? Um, what are some causes and consequences? So starting off here, learn about what is fluency. As you go through, looking at sub-objective one, read, pause, take notes. Okay, it says page 125 in your notebook. On objective two, why is it so important? Again, read and take notes. On objective three, jot down these bullets of different things that could also be done for fluency. And then write down your idea why. For example, you'll see here letter naming. It's on a chart and you, a student would color in um, their progress. Why is this an important skill to have? On objective four, go on and talk about its impact on comprehension and motivation. Um, this one we'll be doing in class, so skip it. And then go on and talk about and read and take notes on teaching fluency. What are things that are supported by research and what it, things that are not supported by research. I also put in here how to pick partners best to work with in classroom and other variations on that. And then I included some pictures and a website here to, to listen to this little boy have fun with emojis, um, anchor charts, and begin to just investigate a little bit what is CVM and what is guided reading. And there's some links there to look at the difference. And then there's an article in here about reading rockets. Should we test reading for dibbles or not? And then stop. Okay, thank you. Have a great weekend.